Drama students at a low decile Christchurch school are getting a real taste of life on the stage. Their latest play opens tonight and then they'll get to take it overseas for an international competition. It's Shakespeare, but not as we know it. This Aranui High School production of Romeo and Juliet is set in a gangland in today's eastern suburbs of Christchurch. Capulet and Montague have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets. Former professional actor and head of drama at the school, Robert Gilbert, has led drama groups to win countless awards. Thetis wrote a treatise. Thetis wrote a treatise. Wrote a treatise. Inspiring the students tomorrow. under him. I'm immensely proud of you, every single one of you, okay? And I can't wait to see this afternoon's performance. He trains us not as like a high school, like, but he puts it more along the of us like trying to push us to be professional actors and treats us as how professional actors would be treated. Arise, fierce sun, and kill the envious moon who was It gives us something that inspires us and makes us feel happy and you know, it makes me feel excited and gives me a reason for doing things. Aranui is a decile two multicultural school. Some of the students have dysfunctional families and real life gang affiliations. When you overcome those sort of difficulties to have some sort of success, it's really meaningful. There's nothing these kids have had dished up to them on a silver platter. You know, they've worked for everything that they've done. Worked and enjoyed it along the way. Romeo, good night. If I didn't have drama, I wouldn't know what I'd be doing. I'd love to do this as a career and get paid for it. It'd be great. Oh, I think I've got the best job in the world. After this weekend, the next stop for these guys is Norfolk Island, where they'll perform against some of the best adult groups in Australasia. Good night. Juliet McVeigh, One News. Looks like a